All right, we are starting a new series. It is going to be on Medicine Creek. Uh, it's going to be a family farm. So it's going to be me, my dad, my brother, my brother-in-law. We're going to... We bought some property, kind of a farm. So this isn't it. This is the neighbors. I just got done talking to them. Um, we actually bought it from them. And it used to be their parents' house in building. Uh, and it had some of their old equipment that they no longer use. So we bought it all as a whole. So hopefully it's got all the equipment we need to start farming this year. We did buy uh, some farmland that came with it that they no longer needed. Or I guess not that they didn't need it, but we kind of wanted to buy it. They were going to lease it out to us, but instead we bought it. So this field right here... Field four we bought. The grain bins weren't theirs, but we did buy those. Uh, they were for sale. They were trying to buy them themselves, but we luckily were able to put a little higher bid on there. So we did get those grain bins, uh, which is a positive. But we got field four, which surrounds those grain bins. We got field five. And then when we cross the creek, we will have the other field here uh, on our left. So not that much farmland, but... At the same time, we don't really have that much equipment, so I think it'll be plenty for us. Whoa. Almost put her in the ditch right there. So we're coming up. Uh, the farmland, or the farmstead, whatever you want to call it, is up here. So it's, it came with a nice little ranch house that was kind of the retirement gig. It's got a little garage for our trucks, I believe. They're all here already. Yeah, they're up there by the house. But... Um, as far as the farm stuff, we get this one big barn, and that's it. That's all they had over here. Obviously, the, the neighbors where I came from is where they kind of updated their farm and where they kept building it. That's the original farmstead that they stuck with. And, again, this was their parents' house. It was kind of a retirement gig. So we'll come up here, park at the garage. Looks like they already parked their trucks in the garage. So they took that spot. How nice of you guys. So we'll check out the house real quick. Uh, definitely a nice, very nice little cabinish type house. Um, one bed upstairs and a nice bathroom. So um, my parents will be staying here and then me, my brother, and my brother-in-law and their families will be uh, in town which is quite a ways away for the most part. Uh, so we won't be staying here. Maybe eventually if we make enough, we can build a little homestead and have our houses around. So we'll go check out, see what equipment we got to start the year. Uh, we got this little two axle Ford here with a flatbed. Not sure what we'll use that for, but I'm sure we'll get a use out of it. Uh, don't pay attention to that. So inside, looks like we got a little, I think it's a 12-row planter on a 8410 John Deere. Got a John Deere grain cart on a 4955. Looks like we got a newer heads for these. A little draper head with the air reel and then a corn head over there. Got a 9610. Combine, an older one with the grain tank extension. We got a Case Magnum, I believe, 8950, that has a planter or a cedar. Uh, I guess if we want to try to do some winter wheat or we could plant soybeans with that too. It looks like we got a little grain truck. Uh, old Ford? Yeah, an old Ford. So, uh, this is what we're going to be starting with. The prices here on Medicine Creek aren't the greatest, but. Uh, it will definitely require some work. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get at her and try to start working the ground. So stay tuned. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoy the series.